We're here in Belisle or Ballymacmanus, an island on Loch Erne where the Annals of Ulster were written some 500 years ago. The Annals of Ulster, as the name suggests, are a chronicle of events that happened in Ireland from the time of St Patrick up until the 1490s. Indeed, they're extended until 1540 and it's done on a year by year basis. We learn from the annals of the events of each year, whether it's to do with the, the weather, the politics, the church, uh, the cultural life of the times, the battles, all the events, great and small, that happened each year. So we get a wonderful picture of life in Ireland through that whole period. What's particularly interesting is the importance that was placed on learning and scholarship. Different families were associated with medicine, with law, with history, with poetry and the passing of a particular poet or lawyer or scholar is mentioned right regularly in the annals which shows just how significant culture and learning were to the people of Ireland at that time. The annals were compiled under the patronage of Cahal Og McManus Maguire who was a leading cleric here in Fermanagh. He commissioned Ruri O'Linian, who was a local scholar, to compile the annals from earlier annals which already existed, some of which only covered maybe periods of 50 or 100 years. So the great achievement of the annals of Ulster was that all the material was gathered together in one volume. They would have been writing, of course, with pen and ink on vellum. Obviously, they didn't have electric light or anything like that, but at the same time, their scholarship was erudite, the penmanship is beautiful, it's very clear, it's easy to read and it was done with the utmost care and attention. Belisle, or as it was known, Bally McManus, was one of just a number of islands on Loch Erne which were associated with monasteries and with learning. So it, it was a natural sort of place for that to happen because that was what was done in the monasteries. They weren't simply um, places of prayer and meditation, they were also centres of scholarship and learning. The annals are also very interesting because of the language in which they are written. They are mostly written in Irish, there are also some passages in Latin. From the annals we can see of course that Irish was very much the language of everyday life. It was also the language of learning and scholarship. We can see the development of the language, how the church influenced, how Latin influenced the language and how the language was developing right through the medieval period. The annals, of course, have been a wonderful source of information and indeed of inspiration for more recent scholars. They were used by the Four Masters when they were compiling the annals of the Four Masters and they remain to the present day the key source of information that we have on medieval Ireland.